Welcome to Wolf Chevrolet. Today we're taking a closer look at some of the interior and exterior features in our 2023 Chevrolet Traverse. This Traverse is featured in the RS trim and is a white paint finish. It includes features such as heated front leather bucket seats, second row captain's chairs, and a third row bench to make seven passenger seating. We have GPS navigation, a dual sunroof setup. We also have our lane keep assist, forward collision alert, heated steering wheel, a power tailgate, and much more. Starting off in the front of the vehicle, you can see we have a chrome finished door handle, power locks, below we have power mirrors, as well as our power windows, fold functions on our mirror. In the bottom of the door, we have some storage, power tailgate, as well as our Bose speaker. Just inside, we have our lighting controls, Powered settings down the side of the driver's seat, including lumbar. You can see the seat here finished in our jet black leather with a spice red trim. Getting into the vehicle and looking above our steering wheel, we can see our display cluster. In the center, we have a digital information system. Moving down to the left-hand side of the steering wheel, four on the outside are our crews, forward collision alert with automatic low-speed braking, as well as heated steering wheel. Right hand side, we have hands free on the left side. Controls for our display information system on the right hand side. Moving to the middle, we can see our infotainment system. If we go into our audio, we can see we have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth radio. If we hit our home button in the bottom, we can see we have phone connection, GPS navigation, we have an available Wi-Fi hotspot, user setup, so we can set up multiple users, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Also apps, OnStar, climate, as well as rear climate. Our surround view camera with adaptive guidelines, as well as a trailer guidelines. My Chevrolet and also Sirius XM. Push the start ignition to the left, hazard lights below our driver's side vent. Across the bottom of the infotainment, we have home, Seek buttons, we have a mute in the center as well as volume controls. Right hand side, we can lift our screen up. Behind, we can see we have some hidden storage space. Below that, we have our dual zone climate control with an optional third zone in the back. Temperature on the outside, we have a front and rear defroster, heated driver and heated passenger seat, sink as well as our AC. Across the bottom, SD slot, Auxiliary, two USBs, flip open 12 volt plug. We have our wireless charging pad. Cup holders, as well as our shifter, also finished in our black leather with our red trim. In the cup holder, we can see our key. On our key, we have locks and unlocks, remote start, power tailgate, and our alarm system. Just behind our shifter, our electronic park brake, auto stop start, lane keep assist, then we have our all-wheel drive setting. So we have our rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, our sport mode, as well as trailer mode. Center console, leather finish with our red trim again. Have some shallow storage in the front that we can remove and see we can have deep storage. Moving to the passenger seat, it is also powered with our lumbar, jet black leather with our spice red trim and heated can see we have a digital rear view mirror. You can turn it off by the button on the bottom. Above that, we have our OnStar buttons, rear reminder, our dome lighting controls, tilt slide sunroof, cover for our sunroof, universal garage door opener. Then we can see our sunroof. We actually have two of them, one in the front of the vehicle and one in the rear. Now walking down the side of the vehicle, Moving to our front tire and rim, we have a black alloy rim with a Chevrolet bow tie center cap and our Continental all season tires. Moving out, we have paint match mirrors as well as our paint match door handles. Moving all the way around to the back of the vehicle, you can see we have a black Chevrolet bow tie as well as black traverse and all wheel drive badging, RS badging in red, Dual chrome exhaust tips at the bottom. Opening into the rear of the vehicle, you can see we have our power tailgate, 
button for that is right on the bottom of our handle. In the back of the bet truck, we can see we have a 12 volt plug. We have some under seat storage as well. You can fold the second row seat or third row seating in a 60-40 folding split. You can see that can make some additional storage space if we need it. Closing the rear of the vehicle, we can have our button for power on the left hand side or manual handle on the right hand side. Moving into the back of the vehicle, you can see we have a chrome finish door handle, power window control, as well as storage throughout the door and our speaker. Inside the vehicle, we have storage pockets in the back of the driver and passenger seat, tri-zone climate control for our second and third row, flip open 120 volt plug and two USBs for charging, some storage in the bottom of our center console, Moving to these seats, we have two of them in a captain chair setup, finished in our black leather with spice red accents. You can fold these seats through our handle down the side. Third row seat, we have a 60-40 folding split bench. Storage on either side, as well as our USBs for charging for both driver and passenger side. Have some vents as well as lights on the roof in most both places, as well as a sunroof for the second row. Thank you for joining me for this quick video walk around of the 2023 Chevrolet Traverse. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe for more daily videos, and we hope to see you at Wolf Chevrolet soon.